the chicken is really tender and soft and succulent in the middle. It's probably the softest, tenderest chicken I've had in a chicken sandwich before. So what is Tim Hortons? I've seen a lot of videos of people trying the food and really excited about it, but I've not heard of them before. But having a look, it seems like they're the McDonald's of Canada, so they're a really big restaurant chain there. And looking at the menu, it seems like they're a cross actually between McDonald's and Krispy Kremes, which sounds amazing because what could be better than having a McDonald's meal followed by a Krispy Kreme donut? That sounds amazing. So let's go in, check it out, get some food and see if it lives up to the hype. I've now got the food and I'm really excited to try this. I've got some of the most popular items to try out. So let's start off with the savory ones. So the first thing I got was the grilled cheese melt and I heard these are great, so let's give it a taste. I didn't get much cheese on that bite, so let's go for another one. Mm. So it's a nice grilled cheese sandwich. So the cheese is nice and soft in the middle and I think they use a combination of two different cheeses. So you've got mozzarella on top and cheddar in the middle. The bread is nice and soft. It's not as toasted as I would like it to be. I would like it to be a little bit toastier because it's a little bit soft right now. It's kind of like just a slice of bread. Let's see how stringy the cheese is. Mm. I'm liking the crust of this grilled cheese. I think it's a little bit sort of crunchy and crispy the way I like it. Okay, so that was a good way to start things off. The cheese was nice in that, nice cheese flavour and soft and melty. The bread was not as toasted as I would like, it was still a little bit too soft for me, but it was a great start. Right, next up, let's try the coffee, because this place is supposed to have some really, really good coffee, so let's try it out. So that's a nice coffee. It's nice and smooth and you get some great coffee flavour coming through. But I think this is going to go well with donuts, which I've got for later on for dessert. Next up, I have the Tim's Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Let's have a look at it. This thing looks great. Let's go for a bite. Mm. Like I said, this thing is amazing. This is really, really good. I really like this. The chicken is really tender and soft and succulent in the middle. It's probably the softest, tenderest chicken I've had in a chicken sandwich before. I like the outer breading on the chicken there. It's not too crunchy, it's not too soft. I think it's just in the middle where it's just right. You get a nice crunch from the lettuce as well, and the mayo is sort of tomatoey flavored, which balances nicely with the chicken. The only thing I have to compare this to, I think is the KFC Philip Burger. And I think this might take it. I think this might be just slightly better. I think I prefer this one. I really like this one. Mm. I like the bread on this too. I think it's like a light soft brioche bun, which is nice and a little bit sweet. All right, last bite of it. I've absolutely devoured it. I've eaten this so quick. This is a must get if you come here. It's so good. Mm. Let's wash it down with some of their coffee. Right, let's try the sweet items. So first up, I've got a box of Timbits. So these are boxes of tiny assorted donuts with various fillings and toppings. So let's go for a taste of one. So this just looks like a regular sugar-coated donut. Let's go for a taste. Mm. Sounds great, let's go for another one. I think I've got an apple cinnamon one this time. Let's go in for a third. And a fourth. The Timbits are great, these are really good. I think the fact that they're assorted and you get loads of different ones to try makes it the best thing. The donuts seem to have different textures too, so I was expecting them all to have the same texture. But there's, they're a little bit different. Some are a bit more cakey, some are a bit sort of shoe pastry like, so a little bit chewier which I didn't expect. So these are definite must if you come here just to try them out because you get a load of different flavors and different types of donut textures too. Right, next up I've got the Honey Cruella Donut, which is a honey flavored glazed sugar donut. So let's give it a try. Mm. 
so this one is great too and i think you can tell with the different textures that i mentioned before on this one because this donut is a bit more airy and a bit more chewy and not as cakey as the other ones let's wash it down with a bit more coffee They do go well together, coffee and donuts. Next up, I've got the apple fritter donut, which is a cinnamon and apple flavored donut. So let's give this one a try. Mm. So the texture of this one is a lot more traditional donut-like, so it's a little bit more cakey and chewy. So the outside is nice and sweet and sugar glazed, and there's a bit of filling on the inside as well. I think it's cinnamon, but I haven't quite got to it yet, so let's take another bite. And there is a little bit of apple running through this as well. Let's wash that down with a bit more coffee. Here's some good coffee here. So what are my final thoughts on Tim Hortons? Well, I think it's a great place to come for fast food. We've got various savoury and sweet items. And I think the best savoury item that I tried was the crispy chicken sandwich. That was a must when you come here. That was really, really good. So you definitely should get that one. The grilled cheese sandwich, I think that was good, but I think there might be some better ones out there. For the sweet items, the Timbits are a definitely must-get item. These are really good, and I like that you get a variety of different ones in a box. The apple fritter was good too, and the honey cruller donut. But I think out of the two, I prefer the honey cruller donut. But is it better than Krispy Kreme? Well, I think the jury is still out on that one because I've tried quite a few Krispy Kreme donuts, but only have tried two here. And although they're both good, I don't think they are as good as the ones that I've tried at Krispy Kreme so far. But the coffee was nice though. They are supposed to do a really nice breakfast here too, which I've just missed out on, so I might have to come back and try that next time. I'm going to finish off my tin bits. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon. I'm going to be doing more videos coming up, so if you want to come on for the journey, click on the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.